Ah, it's a great day to play some Just Shapes and Beats with friends on normal difficulty. Look at all those players. Now we just need to wait for somebody. Oh yeah, that's right. So anyway, welcome to Just Shapes and Beats. I'm making this video so my friends will buy this game. Why? Because this game is good, I spent $20 on it, and this game is good. This video is a video to explain why this game is so good. First of all, music! Maybe not your speed, I can understand that. It's a slower paced song with a good beat in the background, but you're looking for something else. You're looking for a fast song. You're looking for a song with a bop. You're listening for a song that will make you jump out of your seat and start dancing. <clears throat> Bring in the Barracuda! One of my personal favorite songs in the game. But I heard someone out there saying that wasn't fast enough. Let's hear like the one song that's on Spotify. But that makes me sad because this song Run Wild. Now music is great and all, but in a rhythmic game, music is only 50% of your deal. How good is the actual gameplay? And if you couldn't tell from those past three songs I played, let's take a look at how well the actual game plays. Sevex, or Sevtrex, whatever you want to say it. A great example of how the game works. So in the game, you play as a tiny blue square, and you avoid all the pink stuff. Seems pretty simple. Well, on top of nearly every single level in the game having their own unique style, you're given one tool to avoid the pink stuff. And that tool? Your dash. Stevix is a good level to show you this in, because you have to do it every second. It's part of the level's mechanic. You have to dash through octagon to octagon. Now, if it wasn't obvious already, your dash is invincible. So for just a couple seconds, you can't get hurt. 
Another great thing about the dash. You dash, and then you have just the smallest of frames of invincibility. It's not a lot, and you definitely shouldn't use it, but I can't say how many times it felt so good to just get through a level flawlessly, and just barely. Because luckily for you, this blue square, although is very small, has very forgiving space. Because you can be nearly inside of a pink bullet, but yet not get hit by it. Thank you, developers. And when I say the term bullet, I obviously refer to it as the game's projectiles. However, something that you, I hope, know about if you play games are games called Bullet Hell, where there's a million things flying at you and you have to dodge all of it. Obviously, this game's a bullet hell. Look all, the, the entire screen is usually covered, covered in pink. I don't like bullet hell, but I love this game. There are so, so few bullet hells I actually like. If you consider Infinity Gene to be a bullet hell, that's a bullet hell that I like. This game, that is most certainly a bullet hell, I love. It might just be the music, it might be the beautiful style and visuals in the game, but it's great. If you're not a fan of Bullet Hells, watch some more videos about the game just to make sure it is for you. I don't want you to go wasting $20. But for someone who doesn't like Bullet Hell, this is an amazing game. Now, let's talk about challenge mode. This game has a story, which I am going to not reveal anything about, because for some stupid reason, the story is absolutely great. I say stupid because this is a game where it's just shapes, and there is no dialogue in the entire story, yet it is sad, it is emotional, it makes you feel great after beating bosses that tie in with the story. Barracuda and Lythraco, I can't pronounce the other name of the song, but those two bosses, not too much to do with the story. But for some reason, you feel great after beating them. And even though the story only took me about an hour to complete, it was still a very enjoyable hour. But enough about the story. Let's talk about challenge mode, where I've been spending most of my time in the game. There are two kinds of challenge mode. Well, three kinds of challenge mode. First, you've got your local play. Play with someone at your house, it's a multiplayer game, you can play locally. Then you've got online play, which is what I've been using to get this footage. You can play with anybody online in public. It's great and there is no reason to not play this game with multiple people because the BP you get after every game beef points it's a niche name but I don't care too much for the name the important thing is you get 30 extra points just by playing with people or just by playing in public because if you don't get paired with people you still get pity points, saying, like, playing alone, and it gives you the 30 extra points for completing a challenge. Now let's talk about specifically what is challenge mode. Well, you're given three songs. Each time you're given three songs, you can pick a song. In challenge mode, you take a vote on it. And if it comes out evenly, two people pick one song and look at the other song, then it's just a draw and you get the computer randomly picks one of your songs to play. Then you play through that song. And when you beat your first song, it'll then go on to the next song. The same thing happens, you put a vote on it, you put a song, you play through that song. If you beat that song, you'll have a, like a little menu pop up saying you beat two songs in a row. And now, you're going to get a third song. However, this third song is a boss fight. 
I can't show most of the boss fights because they're all in the story, and each of them, I'm not gonna say a twist, but each of them is important to the story, and I refuse to give that away. I hate spoilers, I haven't seen any game yet, and I love the story in this game, so I won't ruin your experience. But, so, well, just a heads up, don't play challenge mode until you've been in the story, because you might get spoiled for something in challenge mode. Anyway, so you get the final, you get that box. It's randomly selected, and then the first thing you'll see is the title of the song. You play through the boss, if you beat the boss, you beat the challenge, and you get like 500 BP. It's great. If you play online, you, you get less if you play by yourself. Anyway, after beating the boss, and after beating challenge mode, my only gripe with the game. Other than a couple levels being just stupid, but that's more of a personal opinion. I'm more talking about a gripe, and that is, why the hell does it just automatically put you into the next one? I like how you can just crank out challenge modes, but at the same time, like, I, there's no point to get you to stop unless you press options and just quit out from the game. And... I don't know. It, you'll see why in the story it breaks the fourth wall a bit. But it, the game doesn't want you to quit. So the, to have it force you to quit, I don't like too much. So we talked about the story mode, we talked about the challenges. I complimented the style a little bit. Is there anything else in the game? The playlist. This isn't much of a mode as it is your basic game. This has every song, and this allows you to grind it for BP, and this allows you to play different songs to get better rankings on them. S ranking being hitless, A being one life, B being two, and anything else you play it, as long as you play it, it's a C. However, it's called Playlist for a fun little reason. We've all used Playlist before, whether it's in YouTube or Spotify. This playlist works the exact same way. You pick songs, and it plays them. You play them in random order, and you can have the computer pick what songs you want to do. It's great fun, and you can play with your friends as well. But, when I said before, you have all the songs at your fingertips, let me rephrase that slightly. You see, you have all the songs from in the story at your fingertips to play in the playlist. All these other question mark songs can only be found in challenge mode and by doing whatever it says here, get 20 hundred BP points, survive a, or rescue a certain amount of friends, beat a certain amount of levels on S rank difficulty, you'll unlock those songs. It's a great way to keep playing the game and always have a new take on the game even though you're either long past the story or you're just grinding out S ranks on a, every difficulty. And you know what? Don't be ashamed of that because even though it's not an achievement, it's an achievement in my heart. Kind of like getting Radiant on all the bosses in Hollow Knight. No, the PS4 doesn't say you have to do that, but I want to because I love this game. Except for the couple graphs I've mentioned, this game is a perfect party game. It's online, you can play it with friends, you can play it by yourself if you don't want to play with, and just play hardcore in the playlist, dishing out all those S ranks. Or if you've already done all the S ranks but still want to play the game, just play Challenge Mode and get a ton of BP. The random people you play with will think they're cool because you have 50,000 BP or just think you have no life at all because I mean what's outside look like?